it doesn't matter if you're out of state. My team can help you pull off a bird deal from anywhere in America. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. My name is James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I help people just like you start, build, or grow their real estate portfolios. Now, I'm based in Cleveland, and I got this property, 444 Clinton Avenue, Elyria, just reduced to 499 okay? And I'm going to help an investor, guy by the name of Dave. What's up, Dave? Dave, you're out there in California. I'm here in Cleveland. You're in California. That's what we do. We help you guys invest in real estate, and we are your boots on the ground. This, Dave, this is going to be a slow motion burr because that's what you came to me for, right? You're like, yo, dude, I want to do burr deals. And uh, for everybody out there who's watching who isn't Dave, I post these publicly on Holton Wise TV after the dust settles. So, guys, don't get excited. You can't do this deal. This video went to Dave. But if you're watching it publicly, it's a few months later, so you could learn about my process, my team's process, learn about the Cleveland market. You know, our goal is to teach you how we operate, and hopefully you pick up a thing or two about the market if you want to go out there and invest on your own, or we can help you in a full-service way. Just shoot us an email, give us your phone number, we'll, we'll talk to you about the process, and you can get a real-time video like Davis, right? We're doing the Burr strategy. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. You buy a crummy property, you renovate the property, uh, you put a tenant in there, you bring in the bank, you repeat the process. Now, Dave, this one's a little bit different, though. This actually already has a tenant. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the little slow motion burr, okay? And I analyzed this one a little bit way, uh, a little ways back. I already analyzed this one. Um, that particular investor was not interested in doing this deal, but it is right up your alley. So I want you to take a look at that footage let me know your thoughts uh, after you see it if you want to move forward with the offer. When I originally anticipated that the price was higher too, uh, I wanted him to put in an offer of 40, which is what I still want you to do. And uh, it seems a lot more plausible too now because I think back then the price was like 55. So they're coming close, 49.9. And the reason they're coming close is this just isn't going to appeal uh, to tenants or owner-occupied folks. More on that in this footage. Let me know what you'd like to do. This particular property is not going to be appealing to the two types of people that can buy it, okay? And what I mean by that, this house, two kinds of people could buy this house. People like you, Mike, people who are real estate investors. They want to buy it for monetary gain and people who want to live in the house, right? It's a house. That's what houses are for, right? People to live in. I think both of those people are not going to like this house. Why? Because it's got a tenant in there and that tenant ain't paying shit, okay? Now, it doesn't look like a bad house at all, all right? It, it looks like a nice, fine home, okay? It's a little dated, so we're going to need to do some uh, work on the bird deal, but it's just going to be like a little 20 k cosmetic reno. No big deal, right? Uh, I think that's actually carpet in the bathroom. It, it's either a really big-ass rug or carpet, but about 20 uh, We'll be able to get this thing looking spick and span, right? Yeah, full, you know, agreeable gray walls, neutral flooring, no carpet in the bathroom, you know, matching kitchen and bath, right? You're an existing client, Holton Wise. You understand the whole shebang, right? But we need to buy it first, of course, and we need to get the numbers down to make all that make sense, right? But I think we could do that because I think we could lowball these people. By the way, the address 444 Clinton Avenue, Elyria, just hit the market three days ago. But again, I think everybody's going to hate it, right? There's a tenant in that house. So owner-occupants, they already no longer interested. They're like, dude, well, I can't live there. That dude lives there, right? And then people like you, people like you are going to pass it up. Why? Because, Mike, I don't think you're willing to pay 55000 for a tenant who's only paying $500 to live in this house, are you? No, of course not, because that's, that's fucking ridiculous. Who in the hell rents out a full single-family home for $500? I don't know. But that's going to allow me and you to have a good shot at getting your lowball offer accepted. So I want to try to shoot an offer to them of 40 k cash. And then, of course, as I said, dude, when it comes time to doing that reno, it's only going to be 20 k right? You know you know the drill on a nice little cosmetic reno like that. So that'd be all in, 60 k At that point, we can get a market-paying Section 8 tenant paying 900 a month, which is going to be just shy of $5,000 a year in average NOI. And this is where it gets good, of course. This is where 
Things really get nice from a return standpoint with the Burr strategy. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? I'm sure anybody out there uh, watching any type of content on real estate investing has heard about the Burr strategy, right? Hey, lenders. Our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. So if we're all in for 60, but now we have a renovated house with neutral decor throughout a $900 Section 8 tenant, vinyl allure flooring in the kitchen and the bath, you know, we bring it up to 2021 cosmetics, right? That property should be worth about 75 k So the bank's going to go ahead and give you 75% of that 75 k which is 56250 But remember, brother, to get it there, you only needed to put in 60 k So that means you're only going to have 3750 into this deal. And after you pay off your new mortgage of 56250 that's uh, about $2,000, a little over $2,000 clear in your pocket every single year on average, which is a 54% return on your money. Now, one thing to note too, Mike, we don't have to necessarily have you drop the 40 and then immediately drop the 20 and do the reno, right? If you want, you can kind of slow it out, right? You got the tenant paying 500. They're on a month-to-month -month lease. Uh, once you take it over, if you don't want to deal with the turnover, don't want to deal with the renovation, not worried about doing the refi immediately, let's shoot them a new lease at like 650, right? Who's moving out of the house at 650? There ain't no freaking houses that are renting for 650. And then maybe next year, shoot them up to eight, right? And then try to work them up to 900. You might be able to get them up to 900 before you even have to do this renovation. But one thing is for certain, eventually that tenant's going to move out, right? That you it's pretty unlikely you're going to get a tenant that's going to live in your property uh, for the rest of their lives, guys. That's just not how the game works, right? So maybe you keep them in there for a few years, then you do the renovation, then you do the rehab, then, or uh, the renovation, then the refinance, right? Maybe you do that later. It's up to you, man. We could slow mo burr it. We could do it all at once, right? We can give the guy a notice, tell him to get out. We could say, hey, dog, you got to pay 900 or you got to go. It's up to you, man. Normally... I like to keep people that are already in there in there as long as it can't so we don't create artificial turnover. But at 500 bucks a month for a whole freaking house, I mean, we can't justify that, right? I mean, if market rent's nine and the dude's paying like seven and a quarter, I'd be like, yo, bro, let's just keep dude like living there for a while. Like, why spend the money, right? Like, just collect the money. But, dude, 500 for a whole house, I mean, we got to do something there. So I'd probably try to kick them up. Maybe like 150, see what happens, because uh, you know you got that burr uh, coming in the near future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.